Here we are again. Ted is back. He's free of the bonus level. We're back in it. We're here. Brett's here. Hi. Life is good. Welcome Life back to good. Crunch Brandicoot. That bonus level was quite fun. You liked it? Yeah, I did. I really, I really did. Okay. What is this guy? I don't, what's this guy's deal? What's my deal? Who am I? What do I want? Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Ted's on the sticks because uh, he loves Crash Bandicoot, A, and B, he loves the techno world. <laughs> His words. His words, not mine. I like the techno world. Oh, me he like loves, a techno world. He loves the techno world. He's <sighs> crazy for techno. Ted's always at EDC every year. <laughs> I can honestly see that. Ted at EDC? Mm hmm. I almost. I'm certain that he's gone at least once. CDC? EDC. Electric Daisy Carnival. Center for Disease Control? Wait, you think I would work at the CDC? Yeah, that was dumb. Sliding through Solid the- Ted, have you been? Yeah. The Death Dust? Have you been to the EDC? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay. I have not. The Electric Daisy Carnival? Terrible name. That is a terrible name. You just, like, do drugs. I think people, like, they canceled it. I think they stopped doing it because, like, two or three times people, like, died during it. Oh God, that's all. It was like people were just like flagrantly doing like dangerous club drugs. I assume that's like exactly what you go for. Well, but it's like uh. it's like a Coachella type setting, so it's a lot different. Like Coachella, you know, maybe the weed busts out and it's fine yep. because everybody's smoking pot. You don't like die if you smoke pot too much, really. Maybe over like years and years, but you're not gonna like smoke that weed that kills you. But. When it's like not about weed, when it's like club dance music, and there's like you know different drugs. All I'm saying is, God. if they shut down, if you're saying they shut down EDC because a couple people died, like over like two or three years, it was like every time somebody died, and they were like, oh, we gotta not do this, because like typically when I go to a baseball game or something where there's like people there, like not like usually nobody dies. You're saying someone has died before at uh, a baseball game. I believe that one time somebody died at a basketball game that I was at. An old person. You just couldn't handle the squeaks on the court, huh? I think they, like, kind of meant to die at the game. I don't know. What the f What? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Like, bury me at the Staples Center type vibes? Oh, they wanted that seems to like, get attention? Not like bury me death? at the Staples Center, but like, I want to die there. Like, my last, I want to be at the game. I get it, but that also, because it's like a very public place with a lot of people, that seems like something they wouldn't allow somebody to do, like... Everybody's gonna watch me die, okay? I'm sure that they didn't tell him that they were gonna die. But like, it wasn't like in the seats. It was like somewhere. Oh, okay. Like I didn't like see the man pass away. I see. Can I tell you that you should probably run towards the camera before you come this way? Oh. It looked like my, my wow, I'm shocked. That it did no, look like there was something over here. Yeah, I'm I shocked. Do, we do get to see this though now. Oh, yeah, look at that. sick. Look at- I they, think they're codes. If, dude. I don't, I don't know what that is, but it very well could be. That just says fuck. Why are there- I'm just mad there's sticky notes with nothing on them. There's tons of stuff on them, but there wasn't a language you can't read. No, 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 the- the- the sticky notes specifically. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Sorry, Jesus. A Pokemon! Pokemon. God. <laughs> damn it. A Pokemon! Oh, a Pokemon! I, I, was that on this show where I was talking about a Gundam? I think it was. On Force Awakens, this girl just like whispers into her walkie-talkie. She's like, mm, oh, a Gundam. That mm. was on Sonic Superstars. Yeah, a Gundam. Yep, that was all because we were doing Gundamium. Yeah, uh, Gundamium. I think so. Yeah. yeah, something like that. The metal they make Gundams out of is like called like Gundanium, and we're like Gundamium, Gumdrumium. Something like that. Ooh. Oh! Nice job! Wow! Yes! He did it! Yo! Nice job, man! Thank you! Thank you! How do you feel about it? I feel good! What would have happened? How would you have felt differently if it had been like you missed two? I would have been like, ah, oh, man. All right, we're gonna keep going. I see. Okay. I like that. So you expected to get them all? He's got that soccer no. team at Orange Slice mentality. You know what I mean? Orange Slice? I was mentality. pleasantly surprised that I got that. Good job. Yeah, good game, good game, right. good game, good game, good game. Am I am I still going? You're still going. All right. Oh, really? He wanted I 
I'm I'm fine with it. The man <laughs> said, I love the techno world. I love the techno world. Should I play these side things? If you want, it's up to you. It's your time. What's the next level called? Is there a gimmick to it? Bermugula's orbit. It's not a person-y. But I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. Gotta do the Coco. We're doing Caveman CC? Oh, Borg, no. Borg Coco. Borg, Borg, Coco. Borg Coco. Let's do it. Borg Coco. What's She's her six Borg? of nine. What's her Borg name? Six of nine? Get out of here. You dirty <laughs> She's dog. She's just the one right before. She's the one right <laughs> underneath seven of nine and facing the opposite way. <laughs> Four of twenty, Four fucking of 20. green Borg like has a bomb on his arm. Yeah, I had a feeling this was gonna be a gimmick level. It's like a secret Tana level. That's so weird. Like oh, most wow. of the time, she's on the map. Maybe it's not a Tana level. Damn, that's like the most emotion that we've seen. I hate you guys. Oh, no. Okay. So Tana just had to go. Yeah. I'll strap you down so I can risk my life, but hope. But if no one comes for you guys, you're dead. Right. The dominatrix who saved the world. What is that? Like, see those two red X's? It yeah. just seems conspicuous, huh? Like that one? It looks like luggage. Mm. I don't know. All right. X to X? Oh, no. It's on the door, too. It's probably nothing. Oh, it's just locked. It just means locked. Gotcha. Dude, that would hurt your pelvis so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if this was real. Yeah. If this was real, there'd be so much wrong. Wait, one, four, two. What does that mean? What are you one, talking four, about? Two, one, five. four, two, five. Where are you seeing, one, are you four, seeing two, that? Yeah. On the dice. Where? The dice. Oh, I see. Oh. What is this date? Is this significant? What are you, working for game theory? <laughs> If it's not significant, then we'll make it significant. I heard Matt Pat's in Five Nights at Freddy's. He plays Chica. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the line read, Gabby. <laughs> it's like a four second delay on the joke. Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> He's like, hold on, let me finish playing this part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well, yeah, as you do. What? Why did it close? I didn't do... No one did anything. No oh, one yeah. touched anything. Our little uh, timer program on the computer. Did every, is everything else still open? Yes. I hope so. Closed for no reason. No, Ted is insane. He's furious. Because it's done it before. I, I get it. It's okay. I, I hope it's still recording. It is. Oh, oh let okay. me double check. I don't know how to... Ted. I don't know how to safely do that part. Ted, Ted everything's cool, brother. No, everything's great. <laughs> you just... We were having a great time. That fucking simple-ass stopwatch <laughs> program we had open closed itself. Ted's like, come on! <laughs> it's still running. It's still running, yeah. But it's just like... Yeah, it's fine. We've lost literally nothing, okay? But I'm... It's annoying. Fucking mad. I just... I just want to know. We still know how long the episode is. It's like a puzzle with no answer. My guess is there's some, like, invisible notification that pops up that, like, supersedes everything and minimizes everything else. Yeah, like a Windows calendar alert or some shit Right, like right. Mm. Thought I'd show that to you guys quick. Her little booty stomp. Thank yep. you, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. You, dude. Ow. It's cool as hell. Cool as hell. How's it feel to be on this side of the screen? Ted? It's good. I like it. Yeah. Especially with this game. You're doing great. Crash 4, a game, a game you never thought would exist. Yeah, I mean. There was a fourth crash that I played. The one on PS4, PS2? Yeah. Crash Trinity, what's it called? Oh, gosh, what was it called? Yeah, Crash Ripto's Rage. It, it is always funny where they go, all right, you've got an entry, you got a franchise. You got the first one, you got part two, and then part three. And then they'll come with, let's say, Crash Bandicoot. 
Road Rage. And yeah. You're like, oh, okay, that's Crash 4. But, you know, they're giving it a subtitle. Crash Bandicoot Redemption. Right, whatever. Yeah. Right? But then years later, they'll be like, Crash Bandicoot 4. It just feels like it's slightly insulting to the previous entries. Almost as if to say, like, don't worry about it. They were different. They we were know never the those were one. sucky. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. It was it was challenging. I remember the boss levels being really challenging. Okay. Nice. Missed some boxes though. But whoa, she just like sashayed to the left. Sashayed to the left. <laughs> sashay One sashay this right. time. Oh, that was two almost chasse dead. chasses. Two sashes. Oh my god. Chasses. <laughs> two chasses this time. Two essays in time. <laughs> Crash four. Two essays in time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You almost got hydraulic. You almost got like pinched. Ah, whoa. Ah. Whoa. I did not know that platform was going to move. <laughs> ah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the mask on? Yeah, it looks like it's gone. Well, baby. son of a bitch. That's why you gotta be careful, because now you're Tron Bon. You're Tron, Tron Crash. You're a uh, Coco Beware. How are you supposed to do that? Man, yeah. I think you gotta be like super aggro on getting to it. Oh, well, bye bye. Night. So it doesn't even press to kill you? It's just, no, you don't wanna touch this. <laughs> the gag that Cortex turns into a devil is so funny, actually. Are you serious? Dude, that's uh. Yeah, get oh, him with the AoE. Yep. Oh, oh wow. Fran Drescher, everyone. <laughs> Shout outs to her. No! Getting the SAG act after contracts. <laughs> wow. Do you see the uh, SNL bit with Fran Drescher? Or not not actually her, but one of the cast was pretending to be her? I don't think so. A little girl came in dressed as her, and she was like, I'm little Fran Drescher, whatever. And she did the, the voice, like, the, or the laugh way better than like the better SNL than Fran Drescher way. herself and Fran Drescher, yeah. It, that little girl, oh so my the, god, was this like a recent bit? Yeah. So that little girl probably was like had a TikTok somewhere, and they were like, "We got to get her down to New York." Didn't they have like a show that was like the Fran Drescher show, and it was like a talk show, but it was like in a house? A house. Like the set was like a home. Like it looked like a. I believe you. Like, it was a TV set, but it was, like, a TV set that was themed after, like, an opulent 90s American home. Weird. I just thought that was, like, the weirdest idea for a, for a set for a talk show. Ooh. Well, yep. Okay. Yo, that actually started to break my brain a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm glad you're having a good time, because... Oh! You know, we want the best for Ted. <laughs> you gotta keep it sounded like there was a little bit of vitriol in that. Sometimes, oh, just just him, sometimes a, you just, just gotta give him. Sometimes you just gotta give him some salami bit. as a treat. Right. Oh! Oh! Not oh! The, no! Not my, all the no. time. The six sheep, six sheep, six. Is this like six. a crash test? Crash? What is it called? Crash Team uh -huh. Racing? CTR. Is this like where the the go karts come from? If it's supposed to be that, then I'm not getting it. Like. I don't say anything that looks go kart. Like why'd she say why why did why did he say sixth cart stolen this year with a that K? Seems just, may just be like a reference. I don't know. With a K? I well, think it is a reference. Oh, to, a reference to a go kart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At the end of CTR, you you race oxide. So maybe there's been a lot of oxide pictures in this one. Nitrous oxide. N. Boogaloo. Doom doom doom. Yoganda. I think it was, if you don't beat me in a race, I'll destroy your whole planet. That's cool. <laughs> kind of epic. That's like the plot of a Flash comic. The fastest man alive, eh? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, guys? Guys, hello? I need to kill these guys. Like, when you pass him, he's like, I'll still point this way. No, my job is to defend from this hallway. <laughs> there there it, it is. Jesus. I'm probably going to die anyway. This is a... Oh, I see. Oh, and a bonus. I see. Good lord. 
You're like already he's at so the point excited. where you're annoyed. He's so excited to start the bonus. That he's <laughs> not annoyed. To, I'm not annoyed. He's talking to the Lord. Well, with the shooting guys, I'm annoyed. Yeah, that's true. Just remember, like, the, the Lord can take you out <laughs> at any time. He's got lots of snipers trained on the building. <laughs> Don't say I his name in vain. I watched a video yesterday. That was fascinating. It was a visual representation, you know, with pictures, images in the video. Uh-huh. Of like what's actually written in the book of Revelation, you know, the most metal, most awesome book in the Bible. Right. But, you know, it's, it's been a while since I've actually sat down and read it. I don't even think since high school. So there's like a lot of shit in there that you forget is in there. Yeah, the I didn't read it till I had to like study it in college. Mm. And <laughs> the thing that I remembered and the, like they showed like pictures mm. of it and everything. Yeah. They were like talking about, oh man, John. I think it's John who supposedly wrote this book like it opens up with John and like then, the like, book of turns John around and there's an angel or something that's like hey I'm gonna take you to heaven where you're gonna write all this down everything I'm about to show you and John's like okay. okay so they take him to heaven and the first thing he sees is a giant throne with 24 smaller thrones like around it so yeah and then in the throne you can't see what's in it because the light is so bright like from coming from the throne? Yes. Uh huh. So you assume God itself himself right. is sitting in the throne. Fair enough. But then like around that giant throne at like the four cardinal points. Oh wow. Wow. I don't are know. like four what else does it do here? I think they call them like in the Bible, like the actual translation is living creatures. They're like angels, right? Okay. And they each look like a different animal covered in eyes yeah. with four wings each. So like one's a lion, one's a bird. Actually, one is like a, described as a thing with a human face. So you're like, so like a guy? Weird, right? You figured it'd be all four be different animals, but whatever. Yeah. So the weirdest thing about it was this. They said that John, whoever wrote the book of Revelations, right. witnessed this and saw that the four angel beasts were all in unison like Basically, incessantly singing God's praises, so they're all like flanking God. You're so good. You're so yeah. Good. Like, like He who is the one who has created everything, God on high, blah 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 blah. And it, I've read like we've all heard ideas about that before, right? Like, and the angels were singing God's praises, and, you, and I don't know about y'all, but I always thought about that as like kind of a po poetic language, right? Not necessarily. But like witnessing, because this guy in the video kind of recreated it for a second visually, witnessing like four, like God himself. Right. Surrounding himself with four 24-7 hype men yep. gave off, and I never use this phrase, but I'm going to use it just for fucking emphasis yeah. so you know how I feel, gave off real little dick energy. Yeah. You, do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Like, like if you're the most powerful being in the universe need, that you created it. You shouldn't need. You shouldn't. The last thing you should need is for yes men. Yeah, exactly. Who are just talking about your achievements. Yeah. Unless there's something about God's Lord that we don't understand. I think most Christians would definitely say that there's a lot about the Lord that is just beyond our understanding. But this comes off as real, real, I agree. real self-conscious. I hear you. Know you. I, mean? I hear you 100%. Okay. Just that, that like incongruency really made me laugh. The idea of these guys being what they are too is like kind of funny like you that's how you set it up it's like when you go into like somebody's like world that they made in some creative game but the person's like eight years old and you <laughs> uh -huh. it's like what did you make like what what is this they're like this is the thing the living thing with the face of a man and you're like oh okay yeah cool yeah the the description like everything clearly smacks of a multiple authors over many many like centuries, yeah. right? Yeah. <clears throat> what are those kind of drawings called where you uh, put the little bit coming over and then you fold it and you like can't see what <sighs> the whole picture looks like till the end? Oh. Something exquisite corpse, something like that. Interesting. But yeah, like all You're that good? writing really sounds like like a bunch of authors over time. And uh, B, it's it smacks of Oh, yeah. Oh, but you didn't make them before you did that. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. It, it also be smacks of like... <clears throat> Got to the end, though. That's important. It smacks <laughs> of regular dudes like you and me 
trying to like trying our best to describe heavenly godly things yeah but can only like describe things that we would want that'd be like if, if i had were tasked with writing like what god was like in heaven you'd know it was me because i'd be like and he had trays and trays of his aunties mac and cheese next to him yeah you know what i mean yes. like it smacks of the human beings writing it as opposed to what god like, would probably it would be so cool be like. to be god to have like beasts like just see, yeah you, you understand what i'm saying 100 percent. and and lastly um yeah, it smacks of, uh, uh, it smacks of, uh, what's what I'm looking for? A lack of confidence uh, on the part of the believer too, like whoever wrote it, like, I better hype this up. I better hype up our God so that people will believe it. It's very opposite the motherfucker who got the uh, not that nice looking cup for the Holy Grail. Oh, sure. And oh, another thing it smacks of also is like, um, uh, coded political, um, yeah, that criticism, yeah, that's a whole other like how the whole Mark of the Beast was actually about fucking Imper Nero and shit like that. Yeah, that's a whole other situation. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to take over. I just thought that was fucking fascinating. Old old world religion is really interesting. Like, uh, I watched that movie Tenet. Right, right. And then I looked into what Tenet is, like uh -huh. why it's called Tenet. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it's like this like old meme and nobody knows why. Nobody knows what it is. And they think it might be Christian and they think they might it might be Gnostic. They don't know. So it's kinda of interesting. This is a cool thing to have in a stage. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's your boy. Hey, mouse. Oh man. It's your boy. I'm so stressed. My boy? You're wearing a mask. Oh, okay. You don't. There you go. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Dude, look how you see that tape. Yeah, not so much. Oh, yeah, I see the tape. Dude, that tape is deep in this level. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Yep. Oh. Gone. Dead zoo. This is dumb. <laughs> yeah? My approach, my approach is dumb. Ted not is, the game, not Ted the is, game. Ted ah. gets angry at games just like I do, where he's like, this is great, this is great, this is great, I hate this. <laughs> I'm like, I, I like it, but I like it because I hate it. There we go. Okay, that's satisfying. <laughs> that's a lot of boo-boos in there, Taz. <laughs> Taz? <laughs> you're a, hey, you're a boo boo baby. Hey, 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 see, look, hey, hey. <laughs> I got you, man. Hey, ha, ha. He's gone. He fucking cuts a hole in your what fucking an wall. Asshole. I hate this guy. Cuts a hole in your wall, the shape of Taz. I related so to shitty. Taz so much. You related Why to Taz? Why did you relate to Taz? I was like, I love his chaotic energy. You would, but loving <laughs> something is different than relating to it. Like, you related to Taz? Who were you to the other Helsas? That's I was the real a little, question. I was a little crazy little Helsa kid, so. I was a Helsa, Helsa school. Kid. Uh, was I went Helsa to Helsa school. school. Helsa skid. I was a Helsa skid. That's what they called us. They didn't call us kids. They called, they called us the down in Helsa. They called us skids. <laughs> oh, look, they're holding hands. Mm. All right. Next time on Beard Bros, uh, more floating celestial objects uh, and a nuanced discussion of uh, the Bible. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Go with God. <laughs>